barely sleep that night. When I wake up the next day, my body is sore from carrying supplies around town yesterday. The more I think about karma, the more my anger boils inside of me. How could I not have gotten a good deed yesterday? I decide to find him first thing in the morning. I see him at his usual table, once again staring out the window. A dark aura seems to surround him, and I notice that no one is sitting with him today. Karma. Hmm. He keeps staring outside, and his eyes are glassy. Karma! Hmm. Oh, Princess, good morning. It is far from a good morning. I did not sleep at all last night. What a shame. His voice is surprisingly cold, his tone rather dismissive. Mm. I was too busy thinking about yesterday. You told me that helping you would maybe help me complete a good deed. Mm. I point at my necklace, which hasn't changed at all since I received it. Do you see? Not another piece. You get pieces added to your glass slipper. That's charming. I was thinking that pairing up with you was a bad idea. Hmm. Princess, did you just say that you were paired up with me? I did. You must have known. Oh my, I assumed that you just wanted to help me. I didn't know you were pairing up with anyone. <sighs> That's right. I never told him directly I wanted to partner up. Should I have? Well, it does not matter what I say anymore, because I do not think you can help me. Princess, I can't help you do a good deed. You have to do them on your own. I can present you with the opportunities, though. Opportunities? We start first by thawing the ice around your heart. Kiss me, kiss me. Oh. <laughs> so even Karma is calling me the Ice Princess. At least I speak my mind and don't pretend to be someone I am mm. not. <sighs> and I do not promise things I cannot deliver either. Princess, I do believe you misinterpreted my words yesterday. That is not my fault. Patience is a virtue. Now, if you could, I would like some time alone. I did not sleep well yesterday. I didn't, I didn't sleep well. Oh dear, that makes all three of us. Who could it be? Ah. ah. I turn around and see Rumple appear at the front door. He strides towards the table with a confident grin on his face and then takes another seat. <laughs> Karma lets out a sigh. Oh. Foul man, what are you doing here? You flirt with a man once and he hates you. Isn't that it? Is that it? Isn't that it? It's positive negatives. Mm. <laughs> no, you flirt with a man and then you insult him unnecessarily. Oh, I thought you was all good fun. Something about the expression on Rumpel's face tells me that he is not true at all. That tells me that is not true at all. Are they always going to be at each other's throats now? What are you doing here, Rumple? I couldn't help but overhear that you were looking for a partner, princess. Shiny face. I thought I might offer my assistance, since I know that I can make you far happier than this fool over here. <clears throat> Would you like me to hit you again? <laughs> what is the problem, sir? I only come to provide assistance where you could not. Rumble turns to me, grabs my hand, and winks at me. Bing! Bing! Ah! <laughs> what do you say, princess? We could be wonderful partners, and in no time at all, I swear I would have your heart a flutter. And then I lost consciousness. Before I can slap his hand away, Karma slaps him instead. I cannot help the surprise on my face. Would you like another slap? I'm in no mood for pleasantries today. 
I don't know how I ever mistook you for a lady. You're the most brutish man here. <laughs> a slap on each cheek, darling. Would you like a third? Give me that butt. <laughs> Rumpel stands abruptly from the table and glares at Karma. I can almost see electricity bouncing between the two of them as they stare over my head at each other. I see Jurian walking towards us with a stern look on her face. I would never hurt a person unnecessarily. I don't resort to violence. My, then it gives me all the openings I need. <laughs> oh. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I get to do it? Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Slap cho him, stand up for Ooh, standing up for him could be a good deed. Yeah, but you're starting this journey towards I'm gonna let you decide, but I'm I mean gonna, Also I'm I mean like agree with And some of the things he said, maybe slapping him is a good deed. That's <laughs> that's fair. I'm just gonna slap him. Okay. Slap the boy. I lean forward to slap Rumple from his blind spot. Ooh. That was a low blow, Rosario. <laughs> Both of the men turn to stare at me. I look at the red spot I left on Rumpel's cheek and wince. I don't think I've ever slapped a person for anyone else before. <laughs> My chest feels slightly heavy. Princess. Huh. You are being ridiculous. I have told you many times that I do not appreciate your flirting, and Karma doesn't either. Such a persistent man needs to be slapped a few times. Rumpel puts a hand to his cheek and stares at me, distraught. Uh, you deserve that. All right. <laughs> What's happening over here? Jurian comes to stand in front of us, her expression stern. Mm. Hey, I'm just showing myself out. Excuse me. I don't think that first thing was a word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rumpel leaves and I am alone with Karma. He slumps back down into his chair. After making sure that he won't do anything rash again, Jurian leaves us. I leave Karma sitting there by himself and return to the front of the tavern, where Anise has more chores waiting for me. Today I have to work as a server, which is still better than working with Mr. Broom. <laughs> the usual people are at the tavern, and I overhear conversations as I work. At one point, Garland walks over to the bar, and Anise serves him a drink. He looks sullen, and I watch him curiously for a few moments. Then I notice that he's staring at Jurian, who is talking sternly to two drunken men continuously clacking their bottles together at a table. If you make too much of a scene here, you're going to bother the other customers. But the, uh, the same people are here all the time, eh? Eh, well, you're not bothering anyone, hun. You got it! <laughs> there we go, game. Mm. Garland looks so agitated. What is wrong with him? I will not stand... I, I mixed them up, sorry. I will not stand to have you call me that again. Oh, that was wrong. That was back. Never mind, doesn't matter. Loosen up, woman. You may have been a knight at the palace before, but you got no such title now. Garland stands up and I can see silent anger in his eyes. A few people at the bar look up at him with worry. I may have no title, but I still demand respect. Um, Sir Garland? Oh, Sir Garland, are you okay? He looks back at us, almost like he's coming out of a trance. I'm fine. Sorry about that, ladies. He sits back down, glancing over more at Jurian as she continues speaking to the men. 
They glance at Garland warily, their expressions more somber. Why was he acting that way? Garland's usually more composed. Um, Princess, is something on your mind? You're so noisy, Anise! Rosaria, no. I read my own name. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's fine. I got, it made sense. Like, it felt natural. I could, I, like, I knew it was wrong, and I knew what happened, but it felt right. Okay? I just know that. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I brush all thoughts of what just transpired from my mind as I return to my work. Hours go by, and my body protests to all of the leaving I have to do. Even though I had to carry a lot around town yesterday, it was nice to be out for a while. Maybe I am better off helping him just to avoid the chores in here. At least that stops me from being worked to the bone. Oh. <laughs> oh, Princess, you're doing very well today. I always perform like this. Acting! But today, you're delivering everything really quickly. Do you mean to say that I don't perform well on other days? Take the fucking compliment, <laughs> all right? <laughs> no, no, princess. I only mean to say that today your performance is even better than normal. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Yeah! I walk away from the niece who stares after me sadly. I don't know how I saw that because I'm walking away. <laughs> If she wanted to give me a compliment, she could have said something that wasn't so backhanded. I feel as though that's a good place to pick up next time. I agree. All right. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>